Welcome to Solar Basics. I'm Kelsey Misbrenner, Associate Editor of Solar Power World. And I'm Kelly Pickerel, Managing Editor. Crystalline solar panel performance declines as solar cells degrade due to unavoidable circumstances like UV exposure and weather cycles. But there are other outside forces that contribute to panel degradation and possible failure. Potential induced degradation, or PID, is one of those outside forces. PID happens when different components in the same system, like solar cells and the panel frame, are at a different voltage potential, which can allow electrical current to leak and modules to lose their peak performance. The increased use of transformerless inverters on U.S. solar projects has raised the threat level of PID on solar panels. Usually, simply negatively grounding a system removes PID concerns, but transformerless inverters are ungrounded. Frameless modules can help reduce the PID possibility since there's no metal frame to disrupt voltages. Many module manufacturers take extra steps to ensure modules are PID free now. It's important for installers to know what products they're combining into a full system to know if something besides the panel may contribute to degradation. Back in 2015, NREL surveyed New York installers and found that many were having similar issues with new solar modules. As module companies were trying to lower their prices, they made their frames thinner to reduce the aluminum. Bent frames can strain the whole panel, and it can be especially bad as panels get thinner and less mechanically robust. Hand-to-hand -hand transport can affect a module, especially if installers are carrying modules on top of their hard hats. That flexing and bouncing up and down can take a real toll and lead to micro cracks in the cells. Smart buying and installation of solar panels can mitigate potential degradation chances. Using trusted products and installing them with care will ensure a solar system will perform at its best. For more on solar panel degradation, read our story online and stay tuned for the next Solar Basic video.